So great to be here. So I'll tell you about myself. I'm, uh, I'm under a ton of pressure. <laughs> I'm not married and I only have a year of hair left. So it's exciting, I think, right? <laughs> yeah. I was always hoping to meet a woman with a raspy voice. That's very attractive to men. When we hear a woman with a raspy voice, we think, hey, maybe she's all done yelling. <laughs> maybe. Ah. <laughs> maybe I found the one. <laughs> but I am dating someone now. We've been dating for two years, and I think it's getting serious because it's not fun anymore. <laughs> Pretty serious. <laughs> we moved in together, and I think a couple should live together first, and then if you get married, you should live apart. That's just, <laughs> just... But this is my first time living with anyone. Here's what I didn't anticipate. I didn't know my girlfriend likes to wake me up to tell me I can keep sleeping. <laughs> so, hey, hey, it's six o'clock, but you can sleep till seven. Wonderful news, honey. Keep these updates coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> she says I sleep too much. She said it's a sign of depression. <laughs> well, I was happy when I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I'll give her credit, though. My girlfriend, she's a go-getter. She's a morning person. She's very productive. I'm not used to that. You know, my, my previous girlfriend, had no ambition. And in hindsight, I didn't know how good I had it. <laughs> oh, my last girlfriend, I used to ask her, I go, hey, what do you want to do this weekend? She's like, oh, nothing. Well, consider it done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That was the only time I ever felt like a provider in my whole life. Right? I was like, hey. <laughs> If you want nothing to happen, I'm quite a catch. <laughs> but we're doing well, me and the last. We're doing very well. Uh, the only thing we bicker about is food, because I, I think she overthinks it. Like, one night we're out, and I go, uh, hey, let's get some Thai food. Here's my girlfriend. No, I can't have Thai food today. I had Thai food yesterday. I go, well, people in Thailand manage pretty well. You know? <laughs> now she's on an organic kick. She buys everything organic. Back at the apartment, we have organic peanut butter. If you haven't had organic peanut butter, you can make it. <laughs> Take your regular peanut butter and pour oil on top of it. <laughs> and then somehow remove all the flavor. I don't know how to do that, but just <laughs> give it a... Oh, uh, lastly, take a $10 bill and drop that in the garbage right there. <laughs> Organic peanut butter. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I got yelled at for saying that, for real. A buddy of mine's real into that stuff. And he was like, hey, that regular peanut butter, the flavor, it's just sugar. And, well, it turns out I like sugar. <laughs> Sugar's organic. Put it back in. What are you doing? Come on. <laughs> now, here's why I'm getting worried about my girlfriend, because she, uh, she loves these wacky nutritional theories. Like, the crazier, the better, right? Here's what she tells me. She goes, hey, we're not supposed to be drinking milk as adults because we're the only species that does that. <laughs> well, we're the only species that can milk cows. That's part of the puzzle. <laughs> I go, honey, squirrels? They would love to have a bowl of cereal from time to time. <laughs> but they're not focused. That's the problem. <laughs> so here's my girlfriend's latest thing. She told me to grow a beard, <laughs> which I think is a little backhanded. Now, if someone has a beard, you can compliment their beard. But to tell someone with no beard to get one... <laughs> what she's really saying is, uh, hey, you know what would help your face? <laughs> Lots of it. <laughs> That's my time. Thank you very much. <laughs>